Good afternoon, welcome. It's approaching 4 p.m. It's sway and stretch time. It's that time of the day. And uh, as you can see, I haven't got my later life training uniform on. I've got the Grinch, me, me Grinch pyjamas on. Uh, football training is coming up. It's the last one. It's the last Monday training for the under 14s tonight. So um, I've gone all out. Not messing around with a bit of tin slim hair. No. I've gone good and proper, top to toe, Grinch pyjamas. <clears throat> uh, we'll see how that one goes down. Willow has rolled her eyes a few times over my choice of uh, attire. Uh, but I really don't care. Afternoon, Mrs. Perry. Afternoon, Vivian and Paul. Uh, as the storm left you alone today, I think you were battered a little bit by um, the storm, whatever they've called it. I don't like it when they call it a girl's or a boy's name. Just... It's just a storm. It's not storm Felicia or anything. Why do we humanise it? I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyway, that's, an, that's off on a different ponder altogether. Um, so a new sway today. It's Monday. And uh, we start from scratch our sway routine. And then build it up throughout the week towards Friday. Normally we're about done by add on, adding on the add-ons by Friday. And then we're into the weekend with a sway that we all uh, are familiar with, hopefully. Um, afternoon, Margaret Wood. Good to have you in as well. Nice to see you. Um, you will only get the full effect of what I'm wearing on, on fully standing up in a moment or two. I will need to just readjust uh, my tripod uh, to set you back a little bit from, from my area. And then, like I say, you can see the full effect of what I'm going football training in tonight. And tomorrow night, because it's the little ones training session tomorrow. And it's their last one of the year. Um... Because that something's got in the way for next week's Monday and Tuesday. And that might be a lovely trip to Florence that my very thoughtful and uh, he's very good at booking trips is Bob. And surprises. He's very good at that as well. Um, I think that's his special skill. Booking trips and surprises um, for us uh, to, to enjoy. Absolutely. Um, right, it's 4pm. Are you ready to be set back? Are you ready to be amazed by my pyjama, outfit, football training, dress up, um, choice of wear today? Are you ready? Let's do the three, two, one first. Um, afternoon and welcome. 4pm, sway and stretch. You're in the right place if you want to wind it down a little bit. Um, uh, the sway is slow. The stretch is even slower. And um, even stopping still, no movement there in the stretches. Now, today is uh, Monday the 11th of December. Right, let me set you back. Let's just go back here a little bit. I've got to adjust the charger as well. Got no charge almost on my phone. Okay, I think that should do us. Are you ready? Here I am. Right, everyone, so standing tall. It is a bit of a garish green, so I do apologise if it's um, insulting your eyeballs. Lift up tall, shoulders back, but, but relaxed. Take up some external support wherever you are in your room and start pedalling the legs there. Now, if you're starting from seated, sit tall. Take a bit of a hip walk into your working position so forwards you come lifting and shifting and then off you go from there um i'm a little bit square on to everybody so i might just whip, whip the chair around a tiny bit to this way that's better now if you want to get your arms in get them in straight the way 
or just one at a time. If you want to get the legs marching into the proper march rather than the foot pedal, do that first and then start to add in your arm swings. So a fluid movement through the shoulders, you'll find that they'll start loosening up as your body starts warming up. So you might be able to uh, drive the elbows further a bit, uh, back a bit further. Picking up the knees, just a comfortable height, low level height. Nothing too strenuous is this circulation boosting. And I feel like, you know what these, these fluffy materials, they kind of switch the temperature up really quite high. <laughs> so I have a feeling I'm going to be about 10 times plus warmer than I normally am after this circ boost than other circ boosts. <sighs> Breathing steadily, a little bit deeper into your, uh, into your rib cage, into your belly. Keep going there, just for a bit longer. Feeling the difference from when you started? It's amazing what a simple um, and steady march can do. Take a pause there. All right, I feel like I've got a little bit less room, so let me just, let me just, let me just adjust. How's that? Well, I think that might be better. Okay, so... Standing tall, get ready to shift the weight and just draw the toes in and then step to the side. Shift the weight, draw the toes in, step to the side. And this is just a drag of your foot across the floor and then put in your foot right back where it came from. Use your external support because you will be lightening um, and bringing up part of your foot there. So that could bring a little bit of a balance challenge in. And from seated, you can do that as well. But it's a shift onto the one side of your hip. Draw the leg in, step it back out. Shift just a little scrape sound across the floor it's quite difficult to do that um, on the angle of the chair that I was just sitting on so shift scrape place shift scrape place just a small if that's a bit tricky for you just come up into a heel raise and place back down up into a heel raise on the opposite side to what you're bringing your weight over to. That might feel a bit better. Let's uh, just bring in some low swinging arms just to accompany that. Just to give the top half a little job to do. So. You might be swaying one arm and holding onto external support with the other. You can see there's not, all of the weight is through that standing leg just before your heel raises, you drag your big toe in and step back out. And there's the sway, the low level sway of the arms that can accompany it. And that's pretty much where we're going to start and finish today with the sway routine. Just a slight progression from the shift and the transfer of weight that we normally do. Shall we stretch everyone? Do you want to find your hands around to the side of your hips? Uh, it might be, you might actually tuck them into your back pockets. You might hold your wrists together like so or your hands together and then squeeze the shoulders back. back. Either which way you do it, you should get an opening up of your chest. You might be reaching back. This is a little bit wide to reach back here, um, but you might have a slightly narrower chair. 
So you reach back and you squeeze back your shoulder blades. All we need to do is once we've found our stretch position, we can hold it there and just focus purely on breathing steadily. Feel how that opens everything up. You feel longer in the trunk, um, open in the chest, the shoulders are pinned back a little bit and it just really gives loads of space for all our internal organs down here in the tummy area and it gives loads of space for our, our lungs and uh, the expansion of the ribs and everything like that that goes on in breathing. And relax there, come out of it. Right, um, come into seated for the back of thigh stretch if you would like. So we've got <clears throat> one leg going out straight, the other leg staying here bent so we, our hands can rest onto it. Uh, we're gonna lift the posture Use the um, thigh and the arms to support the upper body as it leans forwards. Have the most straightest back that you can get out of it. And you should feel that pulling at the back of your knee. Your knee will probably come to a point where it wants to bend, but try to keep it straight and then you'll get some um, flexibility, some lengthening right around the back of your knee joint there. Um, lean a bit further in if you can. Can you lean a bit further? It might not look like you're moving much, but the feel that you feel is it can be quite significant just by the slightest adjustment of, of movement here. If the backs of our thighs are more flexible, our knees can work better, our hips can work better, our stride, our reach, our bend down, actions and positions are all affected by stiffer or looser hamstring muscles. Hands on the thigh then, let's get into a change legs. Um, loose ankle, so you're not feeling that in the calf muscle as you lean forwards, up tall, ease yourself in, find your way into that steadily. Feel like you're in the centre, so you're not favouring this side of your body. You feel like your butt is evenly pressed into the chair and yeah, we're in the middle of our, our legs here. Bit further, any progression on the stretch? If it's starting to feel really uncomfortable, then just back off a little bit, just backtrack. We can still get the effect that we need without it being painful or uncomfortable. It should be mildly uncomfortable, a smidge of uncomfortableness. And relax and recover. Okay, so um, upper side stretch. Find the hand to your shoulder, same shoulder. This is the turn that you do if you're adjusting anything onto your shoulder. Lifting the elbow. This is the reaching action to the back of our head that we do if we're trying to scratch an itch. Trying to reach to our collar or uh, at that nape and back of our neck, back of our head, hair for washing, styling dressing, organising stuff around the back here or putting a bit of moisturiser across your shoulders. Take a little lift there so it opens out the, the side of your body and then an extra falling, uh, fuller, fuller reach up towards the ceiling. Come down and out of that. It's the Grinch, Bridget. Um, no, it is, it's a full set of pyjamas that I'm wearing to our dress-up um, Christmas special at football training tonight. Lift up, open out, feel that into the ribcage and down the side of your body there. Up it goes, reaching high, oh, still breathing and ease out. Catch the elbow if it needs it on the way down but or just come down slowly. 
Okay, um, standing up then, if you would like a calf stretch in standing. Here's your seated option. It's um, kind of the position we had a moment ago with the leg out straight for the back of thigh. The only thing here is we pull the toes up. So my foot should be on screen now and sitting tall. No leaning forwards required, just a, a, a light hold on the side of your seat to set your posture and your shoulders back and down. Feel that in the, in the chunky pit, bit of your muscle there. Um, and if you want a standing version, split your stance either with you facing your external support, so having that in front of you, or maybe with your external support to the side. Leave the heel behind, press that back heel down. Just a bit of an adjustment with your feet to make sure that they're not lined up one behind the other will help with your balance in this position as well. You can have your hands onto your front knee with an extra kind of tilt forwards there. Oh, that's better. Good stretch coming in there for me. Hopefully you're feeling that as well. Okay, ease out. Have a bit of a reset and a stand tall or a sit tall and then get yourself organised again wherever you want to be, in front, to the side with external support, uh, an extra lean forwards or pulling the toes back there in seated on the other side. All right, there we go. Ease on out. If any stretches feel particularly good for you, um, then maybe take yourself um, round one or two of those again. Always have a stretch when your muscles are warm if you're going to bother crowbarring in a stretch. You get much more out of it um, than you would do if you were trying to stretch and you are cold or you've not done much moving around. Right, there we go. All done. Uh, have a good evening. Uh, I think Bex is picking up the 8am tomorrow and I'll see you back here for the 12 noon and the 4pm. See you later everyone, have a lovely evening.